Hi, welcome to the Driving Instructor Masterclass, brought to you by Marmalade Insurance and myself, Chris Benstead. I've been a driving instructor for over 12 years, and we're going to have a look at elements of driving, things that you'll need to know for your driving tests, looking at things like stalling, manoeuvres, and how to deal with other situations. And to make sure that you're keeping up with the series, subscribe to Marmalade's YouTube channel so you'll get all of the installations as they're released. This episode we're going to have a look at merging onto dual carriageways and high speed roads, something that could be really high risk because of the other traffic, but if done safely, looking around you, knowing what's happening, you can make good decisions and keep yourself safe. We're going to go and have a look and see how to get the timing right, how to perform those observations and make sure that you're not interfering with the other road users and you're keeping some space around you. We're going to go and have a look at dual carriageways and high speed roads, joining from the slip road onto the carriageway and then exiting from that main carriageway off onto your deceleration lane. We're going to be looking at using your mirrors, communicating effectively using the signal and figuring out when there's a gap which is suitable for you to pull into. The key to dual carriageways and high speed roads is maintaining your speed, being able to turn your head so that you can look around you while keeping control of your vehicle. What some people struggle with is when they're looking for that gap on their right hand side, being able to maintain their position going straight ahead. So you might want to break this down into sections so that you're feeling really comfortable with your speed and then your steering and then the ability to pull out into that space. Consider the time of day. You don't want your first trip to be during rush hour. You want to make sure that you are picking a time when there's going to be some adequate gaps for you to get comfortable with doing so before you continue on to slightly more challenging or busier routes. So the key to slip roads and high speed roads is getting your speed right on the approach and looking for those opportunities and gaps, making sure you use a clear signal so people know that you're joining. It's amazing, once you signal, they'll actually respond to it and make space for you. If you ever try to do it without the signal, which we wouldn't advise, but you'll find people don't respond in the same way. So let's go and have a look, and we'll look at some of that joining traffic, leaving traffic from those slip roads and, and on those high, higher speed roads. So as you're joining a dual carriageway or high speed road, and you're coming along the slip road, the thing to be aware of is what's going on around you. So checking around, using your mirrors, and then translating that image of what's coming up on your right hand side, making use of the whole slip road so that you come into a gap. Good use of indicators tells the other cars that this is what you're doing. While it might seem obvious, it's surprising how popping that indicator on encourages that traffic to make space for you, maybe moving into the right hand lane or adjusting their speed if necessary. Something else to consider is when other people are joining. So you're driving along and you see that indicator or slip road up ahead with traffic that is coming onto the carriageway. Make sure you are giving space, you're making room, and you're planning that road in front of you because that's gonna keep you safe. So when leaving a dual carriageway, you're going to be checking your mirrors, you're going to be signalling, maintaining your speed until you come onto that deceleration lane, at which point you can apply your brakes, showing your brake lights behind and reducing that speed down to deal with whatever is happening in front of you. Always be aware, you might get traffic queuing on a main carriageway because they're all trying to exit, in which case you can use your brake lights to communicate that to the cars behind you to give them the message to slow down, keeping you safe. So as we've seen on those dual carriageways, the key is planning ahead, making sure you communicate effectively and translating what's in that mirror to find your gaps. Watch out for those lorries, particularly left-hand drive lorries where the driver is sat in, the, in that left-hand seat and they haven't got the view around them. You can very easily get caught in their blind spot. So keep space around you, keep your speed up and keep looking well ahead and then you'll be fine. 